Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders, and it looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. Still for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. For a while, I was afraid we were gonna have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orbit with the baseballs. Great! The Superflight power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time.
Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Shooting! Follow me to the next lizard! You can spit pretty far, Spyro! See if you can spit all the way to the lizard! To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. Hey, you've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. 
Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that! Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job. Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Very good. Now, for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection.
A Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. By concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Oh. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Enemies like those... defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. what I can do. Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the jump button again at the very top of your jump.
Thank goodness you scared that evil spirit away. But now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Ah, Spyro, welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. this. Would you like to try a game of one-on-one? -on -one? The first to score five goals wins. You are shooting at the red goal. Off you go.
have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough, though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. I thought the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat it. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge.
The idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Left or right, use the right stick. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. 
It's up to you to figure the rest out. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Look at that. The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places.
Sparrow, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Ripto before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The Professor thinks they will help you get back to the Dragon World. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. Work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated the special portal. You won't find a talisman in Ocean Speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun! Say, Spyro, you see this wall here? I bet you're dying to know what's on the other side. If only I had a few more gems, I might be able to remember how to lower the wall. Ah, yes. The sparkling beauty of those gems seems to have jogged my memory. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not the portal to Dragon Shores. Aquaria Towers is still a lovely place. Why, I have a home there myself.
guess now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. All right, Spyro, meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. But beware, if Hunter flies through a ring first, the ring will start to shrink. It's not as easy as you thought, is it? Are you ready to try again? All right. Good job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying.
We've always had trouble with the gear grinders, but now they've set up force fields to separate us. If you find diodes, you can use them to turn off the force fields. I think there's a diode around here somewhere, uh, but my eyesight isn't what it used to be. Grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones. If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful.
you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our lightning stones. Please, take it as a reward. Spyro, do you see that big building over there? The gear grinders are using it to steal our electricity. Please help us by shutting down the machinery inside. have done well so far. You could have this little trinket for good luck. If you have any questions about shutting down the factory, just ask me. The next glides get tricky. You'll have to use your hover maneuver to make them. Press the action button during a glide to hover and get extra height. Remember to press the action button when you're very close to the windmill or you won't make it. The gear grinder factory is in that room, but, um, it's awfully noisy in there. Thanks for shutting down the factory. Here, I found this stuck between the gears. You can have it if you want.
Thank you, Spyro. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. Uh, we've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please, take it as a reward. <laughs> the funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding.
Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shockproof. I guarantee it. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. Well 
done. I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Now that the manta ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? Okay, good luck. Incredible! You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. Sorry, pal. I don't have any new jobs for you at the moment. Water workers have kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. It. Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you're collecting orbs. Please, take this one. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. 
impressive. Please take this sacred uh, thingamajig as a token of our everlasting gratitude. Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him? Young dragon, the baby turtles will be safe up here. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Okay, Spyro. Jump through that hole in the floor to get down to Crush's dungeon. I'll help you by tossing sheep through the hole, if I can catch them. Good luck. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new Super Portal technology. There! That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah? How about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Either of you. Where are we? Hmm. No dragons. Wonderful. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down! Hurry! Oh my, oh my! I can't see the switch! I think I've broken my glasses! Crush! Go through the portal, you idiot! Tell all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar! Quickly! Little creature, I'll kill you! 
This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah. I, uh, would have gone after him, but didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? been able to defeat that simpleton, but golf will be more than a match for you! Bring it on, shorty! Golf, come here now! Destroy him, and make sure it's painful! What? Go! Get me out of here! So long! Dragon! What a wuss! That Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! No!
Well, well. I bet a rich dragon like you wouldn't mind cashing in a few gems to learn how to climb. I'd be willing to teach you for, say, oh, I don't know, a small fee. You won't regret it. OK, when you see a wall surface that looks climbable, like the one to my left here, just jump onto it and you will grab it with your claws. Use the left stick to move up and down. Press the jump button again to leap off. You can also jump sideways onto another climbable area. There's something shiny at the top of this wall. Maybe you could climb up and get it? Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're here. If you can help shepherd those baby turtles over there to safety, I'd be mighty grateful. Hello, young one. There's a chef up at the top of this ladder who wants to make soup out of our turtles. Maybe you could climb up there and stop him? Your turtle friends will make a very good soup if I can catch them. You can try to save them if you like, but I'm feeling awfully hungry.
so you saved a few turtles. There are more where those came from. Here, take this orb and go away. Saved every turtle on the beach. Here, take this. I was gonna use it to buy potatoes, but now I don't need it. 